So two lies that you've been told about type 2 diabetes. Now, dispelling these lies, you know, debunking these myths is actually incredibly important when it comes to you watching this right now, being successful in losing 20 to 100 pounds plus, lowering your A1C and achieving remission long term, getting off meds for life, removing type 2 diabetes as an active diagnosis. Okay, now, if you're watching me live right now, comment live down below. If you're watching me on the replay at some point in the future, like most of you probably will be, comment replay down below. Now, if you've got any questions or concerns in regards to any of the things that I'm just about to cover, these two things, comment those down below. I don't want you to leave any more confused than when you came, okay? I want this to be helpful. That's the only reason why I'm sat here right now talking to you, all right? So let me have a sip of coffee and then we'll we'll get started. So the first, the first lie is that you must eliminate your favorite normal foods. Food, pasta, rice, sweets, and pizza. Just a few examples. Now, the reality is you can still consume these foods and you can still adhere to dietary goals and therefore lose weight, achieve lower blood sugars and a lower A1C. If you was to ask any of the ladies that we coach, are you on a diet? They would all say, absolutely not. You can still eat these foods. And this is really important. This is really important because if it's going to take you three, six, nine, 12 months plus for you to achieve the end goal, are you going to be able to stick to it that long without any of these foods, without any of your favorite normal foods? Of course you're not. Okay, You'd be lying to yourself if you said otherwise. If you could, you would have already done it and you more than likely wouldn't be you know, watching watching this video. Okay, Because it's going to suck. You're going to feel miserable. You're going to feel like you sat on this little island all by yourself whilst everyone else enjoys themselves. You are not going to stick to it. It is not going to be sustainable. Not only are you not going to be able to stick to it, but it is not necessary. It's not needed. It's not necessary. You can still consume these foods and still achieve the end result. The things that we coach is a lifestyle change, not a diet. Now, you might be thinking, but Chris, I can't eat these foods. You can. You just don't know how to yet. You're just about learning how to manage these foods in your diet by making an allowance for these foods elsewhere in the day, elsewhere in the week. OK, so this is this is the first big lie that I think is so important to dispel. You can still eat your normal favorite foods and still achieve the end goal of weight loss, a lower A1C and remission. Not only can you, but you should, because otherwise you're more than likely shooting yourself in the foot, creating a miserable, unsustainable approach, which is why conventional diets don't work. If conventional diets did work, I would not, I would not have a job. OK, I would not have a job. Conventional diets suck because they are unsustainable. They are too restrictive. They are not flexible. So learning how to be able to you know, go about a day normally without having to turn your life upside down is pretty darn important. Because otherwise, again, you're going to be out, you're going to be creating an approach which is not sustainable long term. So that's line number one, which is dead important. Number two, carbs cause type 2 diabetes. It's going to be further from the truth. So type 2 diabetes is a name given to the condition of insulin resistance. Type 2 diabetes does not exist without insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is the body's inability to be able to store blood glucose where it needs to go via insulin. It becomes inefficient. 
and as a result blood sugars blood glucose rise and rise and rise because insulin cannot keep up because of insulin resistance and as blood sugars rise that a1c rises and with that we are diagnosed with pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes okay via insulin resistance now the cause of insulin resistance is excess adipose tissue or that's a fancy name for excess body fat insulin resistance is caused by excess body fat and the threshold is different for everyone some people might be five or ten pounds overweight and have or develop insulin resistance other people might be 100 pounds overweight and have no sign of insulin resistance but again just because someone appears to be healthy weight does not mean that they are not carrying excess body fat especially in the form of visceral fat okay internal fat for example so the cause of type 2 diabetes is excess body fat which again causes insulin resistance once you have developed insulin resistance then excess carbs make the symptom of high blood sugars worse because high blood sugars are just a symptom of type 2 diabetes a symptom and carbs make that worse but that doesn't mean that carbs cause type 2 diabetes and this is important because you cannot treat you cannot achieve remission by solely focusing on your carbohydrate intake because that's not the reason why you've developed insulin resistance in the first place we must focus on carbs of course if you want to get your blood sugars down lower today then consume slightly less carbs and that will happen but that will only take your blood sugars so far because there is still underlying insulin resistance in order for us to treat that underlying insulin resistance we must achieve fat loss and fat loss is achieved via a calorie deficit consuming less calories than what your body expends doesn't matter whether you Weight Watchers, Keto, Paleo, Atkins, if you are not consuming less calories than what your body expends, you will not elicit fat loss. There's no way to cheat that. There's no way around that. There's no way to shortcut that. That is the principle of thermodynamics, proven science, proven physics. Okay. And this is important too, because obviously if you have been if you're struggling with the management of your type 2 diabetes then focusing on carbohydrates alone will not result in the desired remission we must also focus on fat loss which is elicited via calorie consumption how many calories you consume dictates whether you will lose body fat stay the same or gain body fat yeah there are two dietary requirements that you ladies should be focusing on calories and carbs not just carbs alone if you do that you're likely to get underwhelming results long term without the fat loss which is why this is so important which is why this is so integral to your long-term success right i hope this made sense if you've got any questions please do comment those down below if you found this helpful if you found it insightful comment helpful down below um good morning helen i hope you i hope you're having a great week all of you other ladies that are watching right now i hope you're having a great week happy happy wednesday or whatever day it is that you watch me at some point in the future if you are and i'll speak to you very very soon take care